Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, continuing with Crash Bandicoot 4. This is the level Stay Frosty. I'll be showing you all of the boxes and the hidden gem, as well as not dying at all. I don't think the ice levels are actually all that hard in my opinion, at least comparative to the Bayou levels. They're a lot easier. Now, near the beginning here, all of the boxes are pretty self-explanatory. There's also a lot of ice, so watch out for it. I would just recommend counter steering with the ice when you can and just trying to, you know, take it nice and easy. For this enemy, watch out for his chain and then time the attack exactly when you need to. Then you have to use time dilation quite a bit in this level, so watch out for any time you are using it. There's a very tricky box. If you keep missing one box, it's probably this one. Up, up, and there we go. It's at the very top of the ceiling here. And then what we can do is take care of all of these boxes. I'll do a quick box check. 32 out of 137. And there is a box on every other platform as you go across the river here. So make sure you grab that one as well. We'll be at 34 at this checkpoint. After this checkpoint is what I believe the hardest section of this level. But first, just grab all the boxes along the right-hand side. And then work your way back and grab the boxes along the left side. Coming up is a grind section. I'm at 52, 53 out of 137, and this is pretty much just memorization. There is a very specific pattern that works, and at the end, I would say it's the hardest. You want to go through normal time right here, jump under, and then time dilation in normal time, get the exclamation box, and then just ride through, and at the very last second, wait for that timer and grab this checkpoint with 67 out of 137. There's also two really tricky boxes here on the right hand side. Make sure you grab them. Just try to align yourself with the Wumpa Fruit nearby. They are a little bit hard to grab though, to be honest. And then just grab the TNT and all these boxes that are lined up on the edge here. We're at 82 and then we can continue forward with some pretty obvious platforming and some pretty obvious boxes for a bit. Here we will have to do a big long jump to the left from the jump box and there is an ice uh, stalactite that could kill you so watch out for it. Hopefully you're carrying a mask just in case you need it um, but hopefully you don't use it because it does come in handy later. Then grab the jump up box and the next box around the corner 89 out of 173 and then here you want to jump up to the left. You'll have to use a sliding double jump, although it can be a little bit tricky to get it to work, and then watch out for the ice. And here, try to get only two of these boxes. I end up unfortunately getting all three, so that does affect my timer, and it did burn a mask, but just keep in mind, if you got all three, you'll have 94. If you only got the two you were supposed to, you'll have 93 of the total. Here, the bonus level is not too bad, but it's very specific as to what it wants you to do, so make sure you know exactly what to do before going through it and it shouldn't be too hard. It just involves some precise timing and a little bit of luck actually. At the end, there's these three metal crates that bounce up and down and I've had it sometimes where they don't bounce evenly like right here and when they don't, they don't bounce evenly, it can be very hard to make your way through, but make your way through. I did have to burn a mask there unfortunately, which really sucks and then touch the nitro crate and then coming out for me, I'm gonna be at 113 out of 137, including that nitro crate that I accidentally grabbed. Here, there is a box up high. Do not grab it, though. Instead, make your way across the river and then jump using a double jump backwards from this top ledge. You can rub on the nitro to explode it, or you can just leave it for later when you do get the nitro crate at the end of the level. Make a double jump across and then grab these two boxes. Do not touch the nitro crate as we don't have our ability. But then when we drop back down, we'll get our ability again. 
and then there's just a lot of platforming to get to the end of the level and if done correctly you should have everything done for this shark section i just keep waiting for platforms until i get the perfect opening if there's a shark i pretty much just ignore the jump completely thank you for watching i hope the video was helpful share the video with a friend drop a like if it was helpful special thanks to everyone on patreon for supporting the show and hopefully i see you soon peace